So the CMAC turtle department and the strand department, the last two days have been extremely busy. Uh, we received over 20 live intakes and eight deads on the beach. These animals would be classified as a cold stun, but most of them are exhibiting um, a number of different factors. First of all, they're all green sea turtles. Most of them have the fiber papilloma virus, so they've already been compromised. We have a few that have um, old boat strikes as well. So these animals were probably already immune suppressed uh, floating at the surface. Then we had some cold weather, which causes cold air and cold water temperatures, with a combination of the heavy winds causing the surf um, to basically blow these animals into shore. Um, and then we get all the calls. Uh, we go out, we pick them up, and we do our best to give them the proper treatment that they are going to need. All of these intakes received our basic treatment plan, which is going to be beaks, which is a combination of different vitamins um, that are given in, uh, in an injection form. Um, a lot of these guys have low glucose, so we are also going to give them some dex or sugar. Another thing that we do is basic wound care, um, heart rates, uh, blood draws. It's really important if you guys do come upon a sea turtle, either on the beach or in the water, um, that you go ahead and use our stranding line. Give us a call uh, so we can go ahead and respond to them and get the proper treatment that is needed. I do realize they are an endangered species and they are protective, so you, if you do come upon one that is floating at the surface, it's best to simply observe the animal and give us a call, um, and then we'll give you instructions on what to do. Thank you.